Hi Aries, welcome back. Welcome if you guys are new. I am getting ready to do an energy reading for you guys and I don't know why but and I just did the Taurus's reading and for some reason I kept seeing Emperor and Tauruses. So for a lot of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus. I'm not saying that um, a lot of you or most of you are but if you happen to be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, um, a Gemini, or a Leo, then this reading is really calling out for you for some reason. So this is really for those that have Aries in their Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And I'm really doing this reading because <clears throat> June 6th was um, a new moon in Gemini, and this is a really powerful and auspicious time to start putting our thoughts and creating our thoughts into reality and what we really want manifested and not put doubts and fears into our thoughts because that may actually be what we see in physical form. So I just wanted to do a quick energy checkup for all 12 signs to kind of see what they're all trying to manifest in and know that not all messages are going to be positive. But I'm going to try to read as positive as I can because, of course, we're trying to manifest something good, not bad. But if I do see something here that you guys need to stop doing, as I've seen it in the other signs, I will do my best to try to point those things out to you. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's see what's going on for Aries. My Rams, let's go ahead and see. What is it that Aries is manifesting in right now? What is it that they are unaware of? Maybe that they're attracting, um, that they're either attracting intentionally or unintentionally. Let's see. See, that's funny. I just did the Taurus's reading and this card came out again. For a lot of you guys, it really it could be a Taurus. really could be a Taurus. Crazy, crazy, crazy. See, and it just said, trust my intuition, and I'm a Taurus in that reading. For some reason, it kept calling me to do Aries reading next. That's funny. You guys saw that? Couldn't fake it. Couldn't pretend if I want to. Go to the Taurus's reading if you guys are curious as to what I'm talking about. Just go ahead and look at it. Okay. Even if you're not dealing with a Taurus, it should be fun to see why I'm kind of freaking out right now. <laughs> okay. Aries. Ooh. Okay. Are you guys scared to reach out to someone or scared to say something to someone because you don't know how they might respond or you are scared of what they might say or is it because you have been so worried maybe you did reach out to them then they haven't responded for a few of you guys maybe someone ghosted you or you ghosted them or there's a block in communications something like that this caused someone to leave this caused separation this caused someone needing to get away this is someone feeling like no what am i thinking it's not going to work out whatever it is it could be a person it could be a job it could be a family member it could be an older relative family a parent possibly it could be a taurus it could be a gemini it could be a scorpio aquarius um um the fixed signs, Scorpio, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, or who am I missing? Leo or Capricorn. Those are the people that I have in this reading right now. But with the Eight of Wands, what you're manifesting right now is something to come in. You've been wanting a change. You've been wanting this change for a very long time. You want it now. I'm feeling impatience. Um, from you guys, and that's kind of normal for Aries, right? Um, totally understand. This. this could be a Six of Cups. It could be someone from your past. You want to now. Don't want to wait anymore. You feel like 
Okay, there is definitely a lot of physical attraction that you have with this person. I'm seeing the devil. There's some kind of, or this is like devil with the nine of swords. This is like saying this has been on your mind for a long time. You're addicted almost to thinking about this. You cannot stop thinking about this. Maybe it's like whatever that happened in the past. Nine of swords, the devil, and the five of cups. For a few of you guys, what I'm getting is over and over, you're replaying something that went wrong in the past, and it made you sad, gave you a lot of anxiety, you were furious about it, you were pissed about this. You kind of cut it off. For a few of you guys, they ended things. For a few guys, you're wondering if this is only, if this is even going to work if it can be even be fixed. You're just looking over on something that's spilled. You see those cups that are still standing? Those two cups? But where this guy's focus is, is on the cups that did spill, but not on the ones that are standing. And it's the two of cups right behind him. And this is actually maybe you guys, like, oh my God, those things that spilled, I cannot believe that happened. It's those three cups for some reason meant so much to you in some way. Um, it, it had some kind of, it brought some kind of depth in you. And this is why you've been thinking about it for a long time. Or maybe you're just like, how is it that we're going to communicate again? Uh, what is it that they're thinking? Or what am I, why am I, keep, why do I keep thinking about this? You want to keep, you want to stop thinking about this. I'm saying you want to stop thinking about this. The way you're manifesting in Aries is communication. Something is coming in for you guys very fast. These arrows have already left. You see the reverse is it stopped. It's coming in. And maybe what's coming in may kind of uh, scare you guys for a little bit or you are the one sending these messages out. But I'm seeing there's something changing for you guys. The Wheel of Fortune. That's awesome, Aries. Um, for a lot of you, this is communications with the Taurus, a Gemini, or a fixed sign that I said. But I'm seeing this is a reconciliation with the Three of Cups. This is a friendship or a renewal in some way. But you have to leave behind something here. I'm feeling like sabotaging energy or something or someone doesn't want you guys together. I'm looking at this. It's weird because I was looking at this intuitively and I couldn't help but the devil almost had his hands out separating two people. Or two things apart. It's like pushing them both away. And this could be someone in your external environment. This could be your friends. This could be your own way of thinking. You're just like thinking, no way is it going to be possible. There's no way this could actually work out. But change those way of thinking. Change it into it will work because something is coming in. What is this Eight of Wands coming in for Aries? Because you guys have the first card, Magician. You've manifested something. You maybe have met someone who's like a soul family. You see the infinity symbols always on top of the magician. This is someone very spiritual. This was a divine counterpart, divine, um, you know, what you are, what you think, and what you embody, you attract. And for a lot of you guys could not have controlled this. Someone very spiritual. I feel like this could be literally a Taurus. But both of you guys' backs are turned, but you guys are both in your intuition right now. So maybe for a few of you guys are thinking like, okay, keep thinking about this person, keep thinking about this person, but for some reason they're not manifesting into my life, but only the opposite, and I'm freaking out. There's a spiritual awakening here also happening for a few of you guys, or for the person you're dealing with. <clears throat> Okay, there's a blockage. That's what it is. Maybe for a few of you guys, you're just like, there's still ego. It's a higher fin. Okay. King of Swords for a lot of you guys. It's an Aquarius, a Libra, Gemini. Okay. What is coming in for you? Oh, Seven of Swords. Someone's denying something, not telling the truth about something, about their feelings, about who they truly want to be with and 
they are just playing house of cards and trying to make it look on good on the surface outer appearance but this could also mean that you're lying to yourself or you're refusing to see or somebody here is trying to block your your way of seeing something what you're manifesting in right now is something totally different you know all of this that's happened i feel like everything if i'm resonate if you resonate with this everything that i'm saying to you right now every word you're like yes 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 and yes this has all happened in the past i feel like what you're creating now is this wheel you know what you have to let go of there's something you're not doing over again because you're following your heart you're going after something there's a little bit of fear here but I'm seeing trust I don't know why you could be very connected with the Taurus I don't know how this really applies to some of you guys but I um, really want you guys to follow your intuition right now because both people um, or persons that are in or dealing with this situation um, their backs are turned But something's changing for these two or these people you're dealing with. You may be feeling helpful people. Okay. Another message for Aries. Whoa, forgiveness and romance. Okay. You may be are lying. This maybe is what this is, Aries. You are having trouble letting go of somebody because you haven't forgiven them, but you definitely have love for them. Romance. This is actually a romantic partner of a lifetime. I see recovery. Be assertive, okay? What you want, go after it. Be assertive. Look out for a sign. I feel like you guys will be getting that very soon, okay? Aries. You do have helpful people around you. Reach out to them. Um, let them know how you feel. Somebody, universe is going to put somebody in your life in some way to kind of help you with this. Just know that so that they'll be able to um, kind of get these thoughts out. But just also know don't hold this in. There is forgiveness here you guys have to do or you want forgiveness from someone else. Look for a sign. Be assertive in recovery. There's something you want improvement on. You're going to get it, Aries. That's what you're manifesting. You're tired of this something that's not working. You're tired of something. And I feel like this uh, Gemini season, you are gaining clarity. Your intuition is on point. Forgiveness. You're forgiving somebody or they're forgiving you. Something is being recovered for you guys. Okay. That's all I have for you guys. All right, Aries. Um, hope this reading helped. Thank you guys for your time. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.